Hi friends, welcome to Programming Languages for Civil Engineering students. In this video, I will now discuss about uh, the programming, okay, programming languages. In this video, I will discuss a brief introduction about what is, the, uh, what is Terra 3D, okay. Okay, let us look. You can download this Terra 3D, just you type Terra 3D and you can, you can, you can we will get, uh, we, we can, we will get a, a link uh, from that website, you can download and I will give the website uh, address the link to download uh, link to download uh, in the comment in the in the description link I will give okay please download that if you desire uh, to learn the earthquake earthquake uh, uh, engineering subjects earthquake engineering okay okay we just Okay, can go for just you this is what is Stara 3D structural earthquake response analysis that is for 3D. Okay, 3D. Actually, this is written in Fortran. Maybe I am not sure, but it is mostly maybe written in Fortran. Okay. Okay, then you can get all this information. This is the manual. By studying this manual, you can get how to add all these uh, structural members and dampers and viscous dampers uh, hysteresis and infill walls and uh, how to assign a beam column and all these kind of things how to run how to save and all these things it present in this manual okay okay let us first i will demonstrate by an example okay after opening after extracting uh, just like after extracting file extracting this file after extracting this file you will get like this okay just you open this folder and you just you can see here this terra 3d and this is the its application okay these two should be present in the, on the, in the same uh, folder okay please remember that these two should be present in the same folder okay just you click this after clicking you'll get uh, you'll get like this you can see here you'll get like this then all this this, this is you can you, you can click here also after clicking here you will get a number of floats or if you want to increase or decrease and all this but there are some limitations if you, if you have any doubts please go through that manual okay at present I am taking just you click on this particular uh, the, the symbol square and this c1 this this is b1 and just you click on this particular okay particular okay, like this okay just you click and just you type here in uh, what is the width bay width let us say 3000 in mm you have to give in mm 3000 here also you can give for 250 2500 0, 0, 0, and that is uh, two, okay and you can give the height let us say 3 meters that is uh, 3000 mm then you can give the lump mass of that particular floor let us say I am giving some let us say 250 kilonewton just you can you can see here if you just click here this black arrow button upper button just you click I, uh, if you want to represent the same thing in the upper upper window of uh, upper upper floor uh, just you okay I forget okay and uh, you just click and just you again you click this uh, this uh, can copy lower floor pattern just you click this and copy lower floor pattern if you want uh, again another story just you click the the upward arrow button this black button and just again you have to click this upward white button the lo copy lower floor pattern so this is the way suppose I want to give assign my column properties you can see here concrete FCK that is we have 25 have taken you can take you can change but I am present I am using default values okay click and okay then again this is the beam properties I am taking the FC that is characteristic strength of the concrete as we have 25 Newton per mm square and all other uh, default values I am taking as it is so then click OK okay from the here you can go for here options for the dynamic analysis I am taking the I am taking the relay damping 
okay this is the damping ratios of 0 0.05 okay okay then you can click you can see here you can see here one box like this just you click you click on this and you will get our uh, uh, 3d model of the building okay then you just you click here that this is analyze this is um, red red exclamatory symbol just you click then our analyze is completed then you'll get, we got uh, the mode shapes let us say first i want first mode how the first mode is vibrating just you click on this this is the way the first mode is vibrating and the second mode is vibrating and third was third mode is vibrating and the fourth mode and the fifth mode and the sixth mode okay clear okay then if you want to uh, um, for, apply for dynamic analysis dynamic non-linear time history analysis just you you, have, you you can see here earthquake file just you can take you can you can click this and you will get uh, the earthquake file you can take in x direction and if you want to y direction you can take the y direction if you want to z direction just you, if you select the particular earthquake file the z direction three directions okay then you just you click on this uh, on this black arrow button that is uh, analyze and it's ready so suppose I want to find the top building displacement okay top building displacement you can see here maybe the displacement is not that much low very low okay you can see here there is okay yeah whatever it may be then and if you want uh, base share on all this this is the base share top drift the variation base share and the top drift variation suppose if you want to energy response and this is the energy response of uh, the energy response of the structure this is the k and damper and all this you can you can get you can see all these things in the manual okay so if you want to do for short analysis you could just you select the response type as static and the drift shear relation let us say just you click this is the push or curse this is the push or curse okay if you want the capacity curve just you you type this is the just you select this capacity curve and you, you this is the capacity curve you can see here this is the the red symbol is very danger in danger position and this uh, yellow is uh, safe we will get all these things in manual okay please refer once if you want to select our what is the time history displacement uh, output data just you can click here you can click here and set path and let us say um, i am taking e e of uh, stera 3d okay i'm selecting in that particular path the output values okay 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 Anal analyze if you want ready to analyze okay analyze then you'll get like this a black screen okay finished so let us see once what what happened in that uh, okay you can see here this is our our uh, uh, response uh, this is the response by you uh, by taking these values we can plot by using any packages like excel or uh, any programming languages Py python marla Scylla, freemat whatever it may be you can select uh, according to our easiness or according to our comfort okay anyway thank you for watching this video thank you